My beetroot this year have been a real disappointment. Look at the knobbly roots, look at the size of them, they're just hopeless, they've really failed to thrive. Nearby the carrots also have knobbly roots, these are my Dutch baby carrots and look at those, they don't look like a carrot should, they've got warty bits all over them. Just next door in the bed next to those is the culprit. This is a tomato bush which has also failed to thrive and look at the knobbly bits on those roots. These are root knot nematodes and the nematodes have infested the nearby carrots and the beetroot as well. So I've got four suggestions for you to reduce the root knot nematode in your garden bed or even to get rid of them for good. The first thing is you need to dig in some compost a good active compost from your compost bin. Secondly, take some molasses, usually I get it from the uh, store, and put one cup per watering can and drench the area with the molasses in water. The third thing, drench the area with some instant humus, which is humic acid, and this encourages the growth of beneficial bacteria, fungi and beneficial nematodes. And you can get that from me on the ecobotanica.com.au shop. And finally, I'm going to plant more of these French marigolds. These great little plants attract the root knot nematodes to their roots. Once they're finished growing, I chop the tops off and compost them and pot the bottom into a watering can or a bucket of hot water, leave it there for a couple of days to kill those root knot nematodes and then it goes back in through the compost heap. So those are my four easy steps for dealing with root knot nematode in your garden.